Good day folks. These are my strawberry beds here. And I've got a question for you. Why would I make those strawberry beds like that? Look like that. All right, I'm pulling out this bed of strawberries. I do this every year and today we're gonna see how much how much I can multiply my strawberries. So I'm pulling all these three beds out and I suspect it'll turn into about five times as much. We'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna give a bunch to Roger and I'm gonna take some, hopefully they last long enough, to take up to my new farm site. When I started, I just pulled out the drip lines, then I started forking it fairly thoroughly, nice and deep, lifting up the ground and then breaking up those clumps so that it's all kind of loose and easy to pull out. I used to be more picky with things like this, but all I'm doing is just yanking them out and there's all this, these dry dead leaves that are last year's growth. I don't even care, it's rough, you know, if I want to take that stuff off, I can do it like that. Otherwise, I just throw them in and replant them. I used to trim them and stuff, it's just a waste of time. This old dried stuff will disappear very quickly once these start growing again. This looks a little bit funny, it looks a little unconventional at first, but it's just path of least resistance. That's it, so two tubs from that bed. So let's first talk about why am I doing this? Why am I pulling these out to replant them? Well, when strawberries grow, they send out runners, which starts other plants, as well as the main crown will get thicker. So they reproduce themselves many times over. And I also find that strawberries grow better when they're agitated. So they love being replanted. They just, and they're all of a sudden freed up. So they were all crowded, right? And now they're one every six inches. That's what I do. I do six inches on center. And now they have freedom to just grow and they just take off. So that's why we do this. So now what I'm gonna do is rake this out, rake it flat, sprinkle some new fertilizer on there, new layer of compost, replant the strawberries, put the irrigation back, that's it. I'm gonna rake this level, it's kinda of hilled up because when I'm shaking the dirt off the strawberries, it kinda of piles in the middle, so I'm just gonna rake it flat. I'm gonna sprinkle some fertilizer on there. I'm using Sustain 464, and uh, I've been using this product for years, it's awesome. Um, I used this for the majority of my farming years, actually, and these guys uh, were kind enough to send me some sample bags of there, so I'm using it. So, um, got all of my fertilizer in here. I'm gonna sprinkle it on this bed, rake it flat, new compost, and then uh, plant strawberries. Might as well just sprinkle this stuff on now. Not have to rake things twice.
All right, let's see how many strawberries go back in there. I'm just eyeballing it. I do six inch spacing. You know, strawberries isn't really something that the spacing is all that important for, you know, as long as they're spaced around and it looks good enough, it's good enough. Green side up is the important part. So this is what's left. I would say this is two thirds left and that one I didn't touch. So if I'm left with two thirds of that, that means that approximately that could plant another two beds and that could plant another three beds. So five beds. So I was actually correct. Five X, you can five X your strawberries every year and just put them right back in the ground. That's it for that one, folks. Have yourselves a fantastic day. Mm -hmm.